Hi, uh, so this video isn't part of my scheduled programming, but uh, there's a major deadline coming up and the team asked me if I could help sound the alarms and put out a PSA. So three years ago now, I put out a video talking about the A2P 10 DLC changes. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link to it in the description box down below. It'll help contextualize what we're talking about here. But the long and short of it is there's been some changes made by the phone carriers, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, those guys, that is meant to help cut back on spam text messaging. And those changes ultimately introduce stricter requirements for how businesses text their customers. So that's what resulted in that whole register for texting thing. So you had to register to continue sending text messages. It's something that you can do through the Service Titan interface, but this whole thing really isn't anything that's under Service Titan's control. It's a phone carrier thing. So the team is telling me that we, Service Titan, have about 550 customers, you guys, that are actively sending text messages but have never submitted a registration. And there's approximately 900 of you who are currently sending text messages who tried to submit for the registration but were rejected for non-compliance. So basically that means that over the last three years, the, the delivery rates of your text messages has probably decreased. But starting February 1st of 2025, your delivery rates for text messages are gonna drop to zero. You are no longer going to be allowed to send text messages through Service Titan. That is a restriction coming from the phone carriers. Your, your text messages simply won't be delivered. So if you're one of those 550 people who haven't submitted for registration at all, or one of those 900 who tried to submit but got rejected for non-compliance, you're not gonna be able to send text messages anymore February 1st. That is, of course, unless you get this registration completed before then. Now the registration itself takes about two weeks, so if this is gonna be a major problem for you, you need to start right now. And unfortunately, if you've waited this long, the process to get registered is now more strict than it used to be. So your company is going to be vetted by a human being and the vetting requirements have become significantly stricter. We have a document that lists all the requirements and I'll of course link that in the description box down below. It's also, I'm sure, linked in the emails that you guys have been getting braided with as well as you've been getting in-app messages. We've really been trying to get this message out as much as possible. Uh, this video is just a supplement to all of that. But basically, in order to be successfully registered, you have to have a website. Your website must have a privacy policy and that privacy policy must be easily accessible to customers who are visiting the site. The privacy policy must guarantee that mobile opt-in data will not be shared with any third parties for marketing purposes, and that message needs to be predominantly displayed in clear language. Also, anywhere on your website that a customer can enter a phone number, so any online schedulers, a contact us form, everywhere that they can enter a phone number must have an opt-in disclosure explaining the message flow and the terms and conditions that apply. That disclosure needs to include links to your privacy policy and your terms and conditions. And in the full list of specific details, there's more requirements of what exactly that message needs to contain. Also, phone number cannot be a required field unless it is specifically for signing up for text messaging. So if you have a form to like subscribe to receive text updates, that can have phone number required, but nothing else. Now the idea behind these requirements is to make absolutely sure that anytime somebody is providing their phone number to a business, they do so knowing exactly how that phone number is going to be used and that they were informed of their rights to opt out. Again, this is not unique to Service Titan. These are requirements coming from phone carriers and after February 1st, mobile network operators will simply refuse to deliver messages unless they come from a fully approved registered company. I'll also point out that this only affects American carriers, but if you are in Canada, there are still a lot of people who use American carriers, so it's still recommended that you do this. Although that is up to your discretion, whether the percentage of your customers using American carriers is big enough to warrant the effort. I'll also say that if you successfully registered already, it's still probably a good idea to fall in line with these new stricter requirements, just in case you're ever vetted again in the future. Um, or if you wanted to use the Marketing Pro text messaging, you're gonna need to fall in line with these requirements. And finally, despite our best efforts with sending all the emails and the in-app messaging and this video and everything else we've done, there's just gonna be some people who somehow didn't get the message. So come early February, if you're in the masterminds group or whatever, and you see lots of posts of people saying, why aren't my text messages going through? If you could just link them this video and help us out, that'd be great. Again, if you'd like some greater detail and context as to why all of this is happening, check out that older video I did on A2P 10 DLC. That'll explain things further. Appreciate it. Peace.